Hi everyone, welcome back to Medition, your trusted medical information channel. I'm Dr. Lin, a board certified allergist and immunologist. Today, we're breaking down five key things you need to know about Vitala. A first in class, steroid free topical treatment that's reshaping the way we manage challenging skin conditions like plaque psoriasis and atopic dermatitis. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe for more medical insights. Let's dive in. First, what exactly is Vitama? Also known by its generic name, Tapinarov, Vitama is a prescription topical cream approved by the FDA for two chronic and often difficult to manage skin diseases. It was first approved in May 2022 for plaque psoriasis in adults and more recently, in December 2024, for atopic dermatitis in patients two years of age and older, including adults. Unlike many other medications, Vitama is not limited by disease severity. It can be prescribed for mild, moderate, or severe cases. It is currently available only in the cream form with no approved ointment formulation. Second. How does Vitama work? Well, Vitama is unique because it is a steroid-free treatment with a novel mechanism of action. While the full mechanism is not completely understood, we know that Vitama activates the aerial hydrocarbon receptor, or AHR, a key pathway involved in restoring the skin barrier, reducing oxidative stress, and modulating inflammation. By targeting AHR, Vitama helps suppress pro-inflammatory cytokines involved in both plaque psoriasis and atopic dermatitis. It also shows antioxidant effects and promotes the production of key proteins that support a healthy skin barrier. Interestingly, activating the AHR pathway is not something new. Historically, coltar, a treatment once widely used for psoriasis, was also found to act through this same mechanism. Third, let's go over dosing and application. Vitama is applied once daily to the affected skin areas. As a steroid-free medication, it's an excellent option for long-term use without the concerns associated with traditional topical steroids. One of its biggest advantage is ability to be used on sensitive skin areas including the face, neck, underarms, groin, and skin folds. This means patients do not need different medications for different parts of the body. Just one cream, once a day, for all affected areas. That makes treatment simpler and more consistent. That said, here are two important reminders. First, apply a thin layer only to the affected skin and avoid applying it to healthy, unaffected areas. Second, wash your hands after applying Vitama unless you're using it to treat your hands. Fourth, let's talk about long-term effectiveness. This is one of the most exciting aspects of Vitama. In phase three clinical trials for atopic dermatitis, about 45% of patients achieved clear or almost clear skin in just eight weeks compared to about 16% in the vehicle cream group. But even more impressive is the open label extension study. In this long-term follow-up, around 80% of patients with atopic dermatitis achieve clear or almost clear skin at least once during the 48-week treatment period. In plaque psoriasis, similar success was seen. About 60% of adult patients achieve clear or almost clear skin at least once during the 40-week open-label extension study. Now, open-label trials do have some limitations. They do not include a placebo group and may carry some bias. But these results suggest that many patients not only improve on Vitama, but can maintain or even enhance these results over time with continued treatment. And finally, let's review side effects and safety. The most commonly reported side effects include respiratory tract infections, nasal or throat irritations, and headache. 
This occurred more frequently in patients using Vitamin than in those receiving a vehicle cream without any active ingredient, according to pivotal trials. However, there are two specific skin-related side effects worth highlighting. The first is folliculitis, or follicular papules. Small bumps or blisters that may appear mostly on the limbs or trunk within or adjacent to the treatment areas. These are usually mild and do not require stopping the medication. The rash typically resolves within weeks after stopping treatment. The second is contact dermatitis, which usually appears as a mild rash with redness, peeling, itching, or a stinging or burning sensation. Sometimes it can be hard to distinguish from folliculitis, especially when blisters are not present. Again, most of these reactions are mild and do not require discontinuing Vitama. That's why it's important to apply Vitama only to areas with active disease and avoid spreading it to healthy skin. If you notice itching, irritation, pain, redness, burning, or changes in skin color at the treatment site, make sure to talk to your healthcare provider. Overall, Vitama has no box warning and no contraindications. This reflects its strong safety profile and makes it a solid long-term option for managing chronic inflammatory skin conditions. And there you have it, five key facts about Vitama, a steroid-free topical cream with a novel mechanism of action, long-term durability, and application convenience, even in sensitive skin areas. If you find this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts or experience in the comments. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more evidence-based updates here on Medition. See you next time.